Welcome to another module in this massive open online course on the principles of CDMA, MIMO, OFDM virus communication systems. So in the previous module, we have seen the SVD, the singular value decomposition and we have said that the singular value decomposition can be used to gain insights and analyze the properties of MIMO wireless communication. Let us now look at the applications of the SVD that is the singular value decomposition in MIMO wireless communication systems. So what we are going to look at today is the application of SVD that is singular value decomposition in MIMO transmission. or in MIMO systems basically. And SVD as we have already mentioned is stands for singular value SVD stands for singular value decomposition and SVD can em be employed for MIMO communication can be it can be employed can be employed as a tool as a valuable tool for MIMO wireless so svd can be employed as a valuable tool for mimo wireless communication let us look at an example let us look at how the svd is employed in mimo wireless system so we have the channel matrix h this is the mimo channel matrix And we said that the MIMO channel matrix can be decomposed using the singular value decomposition as the product of three matrices U, sigma, V, Hermitian, where we have the following properties U, Hermitian U equals identity. Also V, Hermitian V, V, Hermitian V equals V, V, Hermitian equals identity matrix and sigma is a diagonal matrix of singular value. Sigma is a diagonal matrix of non-negative singular values. sigma is a diagonal matrix of non-negative singular value. So what we are saying is that the channel matrix H can be decomposed as U sigma V Hermitian where the matrices U and V satisfy the property that U Hermitian U is identity, V Hermitian V is identity and sigma is a diagonal matrix containing the non-negative singular values sigma 1, sigma 2 up to sigma t. In fact, these non-negative singular values are arranged in the decreasing order or descending order that is what we said is a singular value decomposition. Now let us, let us go back to our MIMO system model, let us go back to our MIMO system model. So consider the MIMO model. consider the MIMO communication model, we have Y bar equals H X bar plus W bar. This is our MIMO communication system model with Y bar. This is our R cross 1 receive vector. This is the R cross 1 receive vector. This H is the R cross T channel matrix, X is the T cross 1 transmit vector and W 
is basically your r cross 1 noise vector correct. So, these are the different components. Now, we employ the SVD now for H in this equation for H substitute 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 the SVD that is H equals U sigma V Hermitian. So, in this equation in this MIMO system model what we are going to do is we are going to replace H by its singular value decomposition that is H equals U sigma V Hermitian. So, now substituting what I am going to have is I have Y bar equals I had Y bar equals H x bar plus W bar. Now, substitute for H by its SVD. So, I have Y bar equals U sigma V Hermitian times X bar plus W bar. Now, we employ receive processing at the receiver at the receiver we perform multiply multiply by u hermitian that is what we are going to have is u hermitian y bar equals u hermitian u sigma v hermitian x bar plus w bar. So, at the receiver we are employing post processing that we are that is we are multiplying the receive vector y bar by u hermitian by the matrix u hermitian and therefore, what we get is basically we get let me call this u hermitian y bar as y tilde we get y tilde equals u hermitian u sigma v hermitian x bar plus u hermitian w bar let me call this u hermitian w bar as w tilde now you see i have u hermitian u u hermitian u is identity therefore this reduces to y tilde equals sigma v hermitian x bar plus w tilde so what we are saying is that once you multiply at the receiver by this matrix u hermitian i have u hermitian y bar u hermitian y bar we are denoting by y tilde i have y tilde equals u hermitian u times sigma times v hermitian x bar but u hermitian u is identity as a result i have y tilde equals sigma v hermitian x bar plus w tilde where w tilde is u hermitian times w bar. So, this is the net system model I have at the receiver that is y bar equals sigma v hermitian x bar plus v hermitian x bar plus w in fact i have y tilde this is y tilde equals sigma v hermitian x bar plus w tilde now what i am going to do at the transmitter transmitter we perform we perform x bar that is the transmit vector x bar is equal to v transmit vector x bar is equal to v times x tilde and this is termed as precoding this is termed as precoding what we are doing is we are pre processing the transmit vector that is we are transmitting x bar where x bar is equal to v the matrix v 
times x tilde where x tilde is the vector that contains the transmit symbols. So, we are pre-processing the transmit symbol vector that is pre-processing x tilde by multiplying by the matrix V. So, we have x bar equals matrix V times x tilde. Now, let us substitute this expression of x bar in the above equation and therefore, what we obtain is we obtain y tilde is equal to sigma y tilde is equal to sigma v Hermitian x bar, but x bar is v times x tilde plus w tilde. And now, you can see what we have is v Hermitian v is identity. Therefore, this reduces to y tilde equals sigma times x tilde plus w tilde. And this is something very interesting. Let me rewrite this again over here. I have y tilde equals sigma times equals sigma times x tilde plus w y tilde equals sigma times x tilde plus w tilde, where y tilde is a t cross 1 vector, sigma is a t cross t diagonal matrix, x tilde is a t cross 1 symbol vector, w tilde is a t cross 1 noise vector. And therefore, now if you look at this system, I can write y 1 tilde, y 2 tilde, so on, y 2, y t tilde equals this diagonal matrix sigma that is sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma t, which is a diagonal matrix times x 1 tilde, x 2 tilde, x t tilde plus w tilde which is w 1 tilde, w 2 tilde, w t tilde. And therefore, what you have is you have the net result is that you have this matrix y tilde is equal to well the diagonal matrix sigma times the symbol vector x tilde plus the noise vector w tilde. And now, if you look at this, because sigma is a diagonal matrix, you have a very interesting structure. What you have is basically you have y 1, y 1 tilde equals sigma 1 x 1 tilde plus w 1 tilde, y 2 tilde equals sigma 2 x 2 2 tilde plus w 2 tilde. So, on you have y t tilde equals sigma t x t tilde plus w t tilde. And if you look at this, this is a combination of t parallel channels. What is this? This is t parallel wireless. So, what you are observing is that because sigma is a diagonal matrix, you have y 1 tilde equals sigma 1 x 1 tilde plus w 1 tilde, y 2 tilde equals sigma 2 x 2 tilde plus w 2 tilde, so on and so forth, y t tilde equals sigma t x t tilde plus w 2 tilde. So, what you have is you have a combination of t parallel wireless channel. So, between the transmitter and the receiver, you have t parallel channels where you are transmitting x 1 tilde, x 2 tilde, x t tilde and correspondingly you are receiving y 1 tilde, y 2 tilde, y t tilde. That is basically on the ith channel you are transmitting x i tilde and you are receiving y i tilde and therefore, you have t such channels or you have t parallel channels. Therefore, you are able to transmit t parallel data streams or t data streams in parallel, this is termed as spatial multiplexing. This is precisely what is termed as, this is precisely what is termed as
So, what you have as net is basically for i is equal to that is on each channel that is you have y i equals sigma i x i tilde y i tilde equals sigma i x i tilde plus w i tilde where i y i is received symbol on ith channel. sigma i is the gain of i th channel x tilde i is transmitted symbol or transmit symbol for i th channel and w tilde i is noise for noise on ith channel, which is Gaussian this noise w tilde i is Gaussian with variance sigma square. So, what we have as a result is we have T decoupled channels, we also have we can also call this as decoupled channels, because these different channels you can see these have these decoupled inputs x 1 tilde x 2 tilde x t tilde and the decoupled outputs that is y 1 tilde y 2 tilde y t tilde. So, you have this t parallel channels between the transmitter and receiver. So, you are able to transmit t streams of information or t symbols across these parallel uh, channels between the transmitter and receiver. This principle in a MIMO system is precisely what is termed as spatial multiplexing. So, there are t parallel channels. So, for i equals 1, 2 up to t, there are t parallel channels implies which implies that t streams of information which implies t which implies t information symbols can be transmitted in parallel and this is what is termed as this is what is termed as spatial, this is what is termed as spatial this is what is termed as spatial multiplexing as we discussed in one of the first modules on MIMO spatial multiplexing means multiplexing multiple streams of information using the space dimension. So, what are the multiple streams of information? The multiple streams of the information are the multiple symbols x 1 tilde x 2 tilde x t tilde. We are multiplexing these symbols over the same frequency band at the same time by exploiting the space dimension in this multiple input multiple output wireless communication system. This is termed as spatial multiplexing and therefore, what we have seen is basically we have seen how the SVD or the singular value decomposition now helps us basically decouple this MIMO wireless communication system into T parallel channels for the transmission of T independent information symbols and this phenomenon is termed as spatial multiplexing. Therefore, what we have seen is basically this is termed as spatial multiplexing and basically this is how the SVD basically what we have seen is how the SVD can be employed for spatial multiplexing. So, with this we will continue, uh, conclude this module over here and we will continue uh, with other modules on MIMO in the subsequent lectures. Thank you.